Hi everyone, hope everyone's well. Uh, this week we saw the draft rules for the Motor Vehicle Service and Repair Information Scheme. It does in this first phase only include passenger and light commercial vehicles, so we're talking about cars, vans and utes. It doesn't include motorcycles and heavy vehicles in this first stage. Um, what it will do will ensure that uh, vehicle manufacturers are providing diagnostic service and repair information to repairers. Um, at a fair market price, that fair market price hasn't been determined as yet, so that's something that um, will be worked on later uh, and will have restricted access for safety and security information um, where repairers will have to meet a certain specific criteria to be able to access that. If you uh, please read the draft rules, we've sent them out, we've sent out a summary as well. Um, I think it's really important one for you to, to um, make sure that you're comfortable or if there are any issues that you're perceiving, um, to feed them back into us so we can actually feed them through uh, to the government to ensure that we try and address them. Uh, also COVID, um, certainly ongoing, uh, and you know it is sad to see what's happening in New South Wales and Victoria, but I think I can't implore strongly enough to you, um, make sure you get everybody who's entering your premises uh, to scan the QR code if you should have to track people or someone does um, give, have access to a tier one site, it's gonna make life so much easier for you in determining who has and who hasn't been through your premises. Um, also the importance of vaccinations, I think it's ongoing. I think that, that seems to be the passport and, and some of these uh, restrictions will ease uh, around the country once we achieve 70, 80% vaccination. So enjoy your weekend. Are you OK week next week? So it's a great opportunity for you to uh, make sure your staff, family, friends and everyone's you know, OK and it's a good opportunity to touch base with everyone. Have a great weekend. See you next week.